Uh, can you tell me a little bit more about Cluster Vision? Yeah, of course. So Cluster Vision is a Dutch company. Uh, we are based uh, very close to Amsterdam. It's, uh, the, the location is Amsterdam Schiphol, uh, actually Schiphol Reich. Uh, we are a company that is specialized in HPC and AI. Um, so we started as system integrators and currently we are a turnkey, like a full solution HPC AI providers, which means that we deliver uh, and have expertise and knowledge in hardware, software and services. I heard that Cluster Vision has an open source cluster manager suit, but uh, this is not the first uh, manager built by the team, right? Yeah, exactly, actually, you're right. Uh, so, Cluster Vision uh, started its uh, Trinity X development already back in early 2000s, and out of this, we created the um, Bright Cluster Manager. Um, so Bright Computing as a company was actually a part of, um, of Cluster Vision. We are currently uh, improving um, and developing a new cluster manager called Trinity X, which we already mentioned. Um, however, this time uh, we are doing it a little bit different. I always say that the mindset is a little bit different because we uh, fully committed ourselves to build uh, and develop open source, uh, open source projects. What is actually a Trinity X? Trinity X is an open source cluster management suite that is built on top of readily available open source projects that we fully integrate and we extend it with our in-house developed application where we see that there is nothing available in, well, in the open source community. So we make a stack that can provision, monitor, uh, allow you to submit jobs, we integrate it open on demand as a graphical framework where we build our own in-house uh, developed applications on top of. Why open on demand? For people who don't know yet, it lowers the threshold for people to actually use it. It's not only meant for the administrators either. So you, based on your login, you'll see a different set of applications available to you. So it's also for users. You can start your applications and you can sit back and relax. You can even use your phone. Another reason why we have chosen Open On Demand is that it offloads the whole security part. This session is running with administrative permissions on the back end in an Nginx jail. So there's no escape. You don't have more access than you would normally have if you log in with a shell. What is Luna? Luna is our in-house developed provisioning engine and it can provision any Linux distribution available over the sun. Uh, it's API driven, microservices based. Um, we made it modular with plugins. As I said, you can further extend to whatever needs you have in your environment. But when it comes to the philosophy of Luna, we think of the administrator. An administrator is a busy guy. And you don't want to waste time on the stupid stuff. At least I don't want to. So the philosophy is configure once for many. So I show you groups, nodes and images are basically the main components of Luna. Why is that? In groups we configure everything that is true for all the members of that group. So first the definition. Uh, for example I go here this is an abstract definition for all the major settings that you want to have on these nodes. For example, I only have two interfaces. You can add an Infinity Band interface or another network card. What you do here is you configure it once. And once you assign nodes to a group, they automatically get these interfaces. So you don't have to do this a million times for each node. You can still do a local override on the node 
and that's handy when you have say a thousand notes all the same except one one has one more interface that you can do on the local level so you you don't have to create a whole new group for that so the inheritance is on make sure there's no duplicate information that's key so if I go to a note for example this one and I change for example this so now I break the inheritance the default is set by the group I break inheritance now it gives you a different color and an asterisk so now you know oh this note is different there are some inheritance breaking from the top level and if you go in again it says here local override what has changed this put menu now I want to show you images we have something that we call any image and by this approach we mean that we can literally build any distribution based image that is provisioned through Luna and distributions we support out of the box are Rocky, Alma, Red Hat, CentOS 8 and 9 with 10 coming in the near future, uh, Ubuntu 20, 22 and 24 and we support a mechanism where you can also build images on top of Docker images. What you typically see in, uh, in the field is where uh, conventional HPC still uses Red Hat derived images and where uh, AI specific payloads or workloads are typically run on top of Ubuntu. Uh, we also incorporate uh, Kubernetes, uh, which plays into uh, the design and the AI industry to well, utilize Docker containers, that kind of thing. So we have the whole scheduler for K3S incorporated in our, in our product. Uh, does Trinity X have monitoring capabilities and uh, what components do you utilize? Yes, absolutely. Trinity X does have monitoring capabilities and that is because Trinity X utilizes open source uh, software products. Uh, some of these products include Prometheus and Grafana uh, and these are pretty much the monitoring stack of Trinity X. Uh, we use Prometheus to set up rules for alerting and we use Grafana as a tool for visualization of said alerts. Uh, further, we integrate some of these components uh, in our own in-house built software products, of which includes Alert X, which has been on the Trinity X since release 15. And that is our alert management uh, software product. All of these uh, dashboards are developed by us, even though Grafana is kind of an open source software, we have to develop our own dashboards on top of it. And all of these dashboards do come with the pre-configured with Trinity X uh, and all of those separate with. So if I show, for example, PGS, this is a new sort of dashboard or a new feature we call per job statistics. And this allows you to control like for each individual job the kind of uh, energy consumption you get, your power draw, what kind of uh, resources it was using, and so on. To develop this, we had to develop our own Prometheus exporters running on each node, and these exporters kind of do a bit of trickery to yeah, make sure that each job is assigned with certain C groups. And even if the job runs concurrently on multiple nodes, it will still kind of gather, gather you like the energy consumption and so on from all of the separate nodes. This PGS. Combined with that, for our new releases, we've also introduced Alert X. This is also one of our new features, so to say, flagship features. And this is all free software. This 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 all comes free as you install Trinity from uh, GitHub, more or less. Yeah. So every everything you see here comes out of the box. Yeah. Alert X was kind of an addition that we had to have for that because we wanted to have like one page that you can kind of go to to check on the health of 
all of your cluster components. So all your controllers, all your nodes, and we piggybacked heavily on Prometheus. So all we're doing is collecting different metrics, more or less, from Prometheus server, all of the alerts and all of the rules, and combining it in an easy to use way such as that. And I'm gonna get to NHC, but every color encoding has a sort of meaning. Green is typically what you would want to see to make sure that everything is healthy and running. But if something is firing, but it might not be a big issue, it can be yellow. And if it's red, then your node is drained due to you enabling NHC. I assume you know node health checking or have heard about node health checking before. So we integrated our own solution of node health checking inside, but we didn't want to use the typical node health checker because then you would have two different configuration files. Making them overlap can be a bit of a hassle. So this is still just using Prometheus, just one single source of truth, so to say. Node health checking can just be simply enabled by clicking any of the NHC uh, buttons here. And the cool thing is, like for example, if you have a faulty node, then yeah, you want to make sure that um, this node gets somewhat drained until it gets uh, looked at by a sysadmin. And that's what NHC does. Essentially, if something like that gets triggered, it will drain your node. While it might not be a big problem, so your jobs will continue to execute and run just as fine, but then your node is drained for the time being until such a problem is fixed. It also gets undrained automatically, and you can enable or disable that as much as you want, more or less. We do the same for hardware checking, in which we have built our own exporters to check on the list of all of the hardware inventory that you've got and to make sure that it keeps remaining consistent since generally hardware shouldn't just all of a sudden decide to be yeah, sort of tampered with. And all of that is also NHC enabled, so if anything happens, you get your alert and you can see all of that from your overview page where you can just click on here. This is, of course, a, a kind of bogus uh, alert we had to set up to kind of showcase in the demo, and you would instantly be able to see what it is that is going wrong in your cluster. And black is just that your host is completely down. You can also have checks for your services, and also we provide a pretty nice interface if you want to add change all of your rules should be pretty simple. As much as, as much as possible, we tried to maintain simplicity with Trinity X and make it so that your normal um, sysadmin job would be quite like, you don't need to do something a million different times, memorize something a million different times. You can just focus on, on getting it straight to the point and just using it. Talking about an open source, um, is there actually a professional uh, support for the Trinity X uh, cluster manager or uh, are there any other services uh, as well? Yeah, I think that's a, that's a really good question. So uh, Trinity X is a fully open source project in the software suite. Um, and we do also, uh, of course, uh, provide enterprise uh, support for Trinity X. Uh, there are three levels of support. Um, we call them proactive, enhanced, and self-managed. Um, self-managed is a fully, um, a fully supported, fully free of charge uh, support level where the support is given through GitHub. Um, enhanced is a more complex, uh, more complex support level where we not only actually support uh, the software, but also um, all the other components that are, um, that are linked together. Proactive support is a most complex and most robust uh, support level that Cluster Vision uh, provides and this would be more, you can see it more as a uh, Cluster Vision becoming uh, part of your HPC team, uh, kind of extra pair of hands. Um, we usually uh, um, fill in uh, the gaps when HPC teams just don't have enough Linux uh, engineers who can support the cluster and then Cluster Vision comes in um, as a, uh, as a, uh, you know, almost as a, as a, as a colleague. <laughs> uh, in addition to obviously supporting 3 Cluster Vision also offers 
uh, additional services, professional services, such as the managed service, such as the consultancy, training, benchmarking. Um, so as I said, the, the, the main value of our team um, is the, the knowledge and the expertise. Um, and we obviously then um, provide different services. Um, it can be uh, very much, they can be very much tailored to, to your needs um, and, and, uh, and requirements. And we approach the end of our video. I would like to thank you once again for your time. In case that you would like to explore Trinity X, uh, please check us out at GitHub. The link is right over here. We have a documentation available at docs.clustervision.com. And lastly, if you have a desire to contact a salesperson to see what else we can do for you, uh, feel free to reach out at sales at clustervision.com. Let's keep in touch.